How does one give up desire? I spoke about it earlier. Or rather, we spoke about it through Keon. When one faces a desire that is self-destructive, there are two ways to give it up. One, one can intelligently analyze the situation and understand that this desire has not only caused this amount of suffering in the present, but will cause much greater desire, much greater pain in the future, much greater suffering in the future. And an intelligent person will not cause herself suffering from which she can save herself. From there, you desire to give up self-destructive desires. And you set your intention to do so. You make a decision. Upon making this decision to give up this desire, you suffer what it takes to give it up. The burning of the ego, the mind, the body, whatever it may be. You engage in austerities, tapas, which means to burn, in order to purify. You purify your mind through study, prayer, meditation. You offer yourself to the higher power. You place your ego on the altar and you pray, O oh Lord, O oh God, please take my ego, take my mind, take my soul, take my desires. This is the key. You may have a desire, but you give it up to the higher power. If you do not do this through an intelligent analysis of what is best, what is moral, what is good, then choose that consciously. The second way is you fake it until you can no longer fake it. And the darkness which you have sown returns to you in the form of suffering that does not allow you to continue to deny the light. This also can be an activity of the soul. This is why some souls stop suffering sooner rather than later because they choose, I will suffer now for what I have done so that I will not create more karma for my future. Souls who do not make that choice at some point run out of the ability to cause harm to others or to break universal law, to break natural law, to channel darkness. They simply run out of the ability but by the time they do, due to the nature of free will, the suffering is so overwhelming, so painful, so constant that that fire, that pain, which is unrelenting, burns the desire to harm, to lie, to break natural law right out of the ego. I would hope that you would not be so foolish as to tempt the hand of God Everyone who doesn't give up wins. It's a universal law. For some it may be a shorter time, a longer time, but if you just stay on the path of truth and don't give up, you cross over. Um,